Hi, and welcome to Nishcraft. My name is Cassie, and I'm your host, and today is another Mystery Box Monday, and I am so excited to show you guys what I ordered this week. Um, but before I begin, I wanted to say welcome to my subscribers and anybody new. Um, I hope you enjoy this video, and if you like a lot of yarn content, you might want to subscribe. I have a lot of giveaways, and I have one right now, so make sure that you check that out. And of course, you'll have to subscribe to find out if you won, right? <laughs> okay, so <laughs> that said, I am going to get to it. So this is a company that I order from a lot, um, actually, but I've just never opened their stuff on the channel before. Um, they are really um, priced well, um, the, the whole site is. Um, this site is called Mary Maxim. Um, you probably have heard of it. If you haven't, that's, that's okay. I hadn't heard of it until about a year ago, so <laughs> you're fine. <laughs> um, but they, they sell really nice yarn at discounted price, um, and I've, I've always been happy with them. Now, with their mystery boxes, like whenever I purchase yarn from them, I always get one or two mystery boxes. And, I, and they're act they actually come in bags, and I'll show you that in a minute. But, um, and they are priced at $29. Um, dollars. I, it might be $29.99, but it's $29 something, and they typically have not disappointed me. I, anything that, you know, the closest to disappointed I've been is that I just got a good, I got, I got a value, you know, and that was it. You know, it, it's, it's not so much about um, them including bad yarn or anything. No, their, their yarn's always great. Um, it's just more that... Um, they tend, they tend to give you way more than your money's worth, right? But sometimes um, you get about right even. So, you know, and that's just how it happens with mystery boxes, okay? Especially if you're um, ordering from a smaller business, you're going to get about what you paid for. So, they, you know, that's just something to expect. Of course, mystery boxes are fun because they're mysteries and we don't know what we're going to get when we order them and it's so exciting. And sometimes we might be introduced to yarn that we didn't know about and it turns out to be our favorite yarn in the future, right? <laughs> Alright, so Mary Maxim also has some clubs and the ones that I would definitely recommend is their um, crochet blanket of the quarter club and their knit blanket of the quarter club, okay? So what you do is you purchase it, um, I believe that the blanket package is $29.99 and that's the same as if it's a crochet club or a knitting club. And what happens is that you sign up for it and you can either pay for it um, once every three months or you can pay for a year in advance and save some money. And what I love about it is that it doesn't even matter if you don't want to make the blanket that they provide for you because they will provide for you patterns, but you just get a lot of yarn at a really good discount and it typically, I mean obviously it tends to go together <laughs> and it's just usually really, really beautiful. So I would definitely recommend that. Um, it's always a very, very good deal. And then this crochet of the month club, I've found that I've gotten behind in the my crochet clubs, so I am probably going to cancel this. But but it's not because I don't like it, it's just because I, I have so many projects on the hooks right now that I'm just kind of overwhelmed. But I thought that it would be fun to open this. So this is the bag that it came in, right? And I want to say, some people, some people really don't like these bags. And I just have to say, these bags are great to ship yarn in because they're waterproof, they're also tear resistant, and you don't want your your, your your yarn getting wet. I've had issues with packages in the past that, um, you know, big companies sending me yarn in boxes and then the boxes ended up getting wet and it went through and because the yarn wasn't protected by plastic on the inside, it ended up soaking up all of that stuff. And, you know, they let me keep it and they replaced it, which was great, but these will ensure that your yarn is safe, okay? Um, so I just wanted to mention that in case anybody wondered, you know, why why they don't get that time. So, this is the Crochet Club of the Month, and it looks like what we have are, oh, we've got a scrubby set. This is cool. So these are hot pad seven inch squares. It looks like it's a basic 
um, granny square pattern. I'll go ahead and open it and I love that everything comes in these bags and I reuse these bags every time I get yarn. Um, I will put them in these bags and then put them in my closet where th that's typically where I store most of my yarn. The, the yarn that I can't think of a project for and all of that, that way when I do my giveaways I know that this has not touched any cat hair, it's, it's been, you know, it's been away from the cats and everything and it's clean and all of that. So it's, it makes for great project bags and also helps protect them. You guys are like, I want to see this yarn. Okay, so this is Red Heart Scrubby Cotton. And so I'm just showing you what you get. Now, the, um, the club is six, $16.99 each, okay? So for $16.99, I got all of these. And they are the Red Heart Scrubby. I have actually never touched these before. And the texture is terrible. <laughs> I mean, it's just a terrible texture. But it would make really, really good dishcloths. I mean, it really would. I just hate the texture. <laughs> I'm being honest here. I don't know if I would actually like working with this. Um, but, but this is a pretty good amount of yarn, I think, at least for $16.99. Yeah. Um, and again, they, you know, they've, they've got these pattern, this pattern with it too. And it opens up like a book, so it's cool. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. That's what you get if you order their crochet club. So, the mystery boxes, right? So Mary Maxim has these awesome mystery boxes. They always come in these bags. And again, they are awesome project bags. You can see see through them. So it does take away the surprise because you, you see it as soon as you open your package, right? But um, these are these make really great project bags. Most of them have a handle on them. Maybe they switch to different bags. But I, again, it's great for yarn storage too because it keeps them clean. So let's see. Now, I got two of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you everything that I got in, in this one. And then I'm going to compare and contrast it to the other one. Um, in my experience, sometimes they're the same, sometimes they're different. And if they are different, it's usually just a few things are different, not anything really major. Um, and I probably order them about once a month. Um, yeah, about once a month. And, and they, they change. If, if you give it about four weeks, they'll be, it'll be a different bag. Um, but if you want more of it, you should, you know, order it right away. So the, um, this company, I really, I, I love this company. It's called Fair Isle. And the yarn is so soft. It's just really, it's hard to explain. Well, let me tell you what it's made of. It is 193 yards, 3.5 ounces. And it's 100% wool. Okay, so this is wool. And so I got two balls of these. It's really soft. I mean, for wool, it's very soft. Because sometimes wool can also have that scratchy feeling. So I got these. And since I see it in here, I'm going to pull out these bigger ones here. Because I also got this Fair Isle Liberty. Okay, this one was called Fair Isle Harrison. Okay, so yeah, this is the one I was I was actually remembering. Um, this is 100% acrylic. Yeah, this these balls are awesome. They're about the same size as a pound of love, a little bit smaller. Um, actually, they're a lot smaller than I thought. Um, 706 yards, uh, 14 ounces. Okay. Um, and it's just, it's really nice. It's really soft. It's fluffy. Um, and even though it's a discount yarn, it doesn't feel like a discount yarn. I hope that that makes sense. So I got one of these, like a really big one in this beautiful aqua color. And then in this bag, I got two more and this is, they packed them in twos, um, in this sand color. So it looks like a beach to me. Like the, the Pacific, the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> Alrighty, and these might look familiar to you guys. Do you recognize these? 
when I was first starting my channel, I started doing some giveaways and I included some um, painted cotton by Knitting Fever. This is the exact same stuff, it's just in a different color. And I love this, what, it, this should be called Neapolitan. If it's not Seashell City, that's what it's called. No, they're wrong. It's Neapolitan. Because look at that, it's got the strawberry, the chocolate, and the vanilla. It's beautiful. There's a little bit of purple in there too. But I got two of these, which is really nice. It's, just, it's a lightweight, 357 yards each, 100% cotton. Really good um, for making dish rags, or if you want to make a top out of it, or even a blanket, it's fine. And then sometimes they just have stuff like this. <laughs> you don't know where it's from. 25% wool, 75% acrylic. It's um, 120 meters, so I would say that's about 132 yards. Um, this says Lana Maxi Delicat. Um, I believe that this is Gina yarn, and it says it's made in Turkey. Um, and I just got one of them, but I always like neutrals, so. <laughs> and now I have got these. This is really interesting. This is definitely the Bumpies for those of you who follow Crystal because, you know, she's she's a big deal. <laughs> um, but this is, is called um, Euro Baby Maypole DK. So that's what that's what it looks like. Um, gosh, look at these colors. There's so many different beautiful colors in there. I don't want to open it up too much. Um, and this is called a berry cocoa, so there might be some some browns in there too. I'm not seeing any browns right now, but yeah, there's definitely different colors of berry. And I actually got two of them, okay? So yeah, that's really pretty. Yeah, and it's got this this color right here. I don't think that that's brown though. It looks more like a like a mm, like an autumnal yellow maybe or an olive green. And I can't remember if I told you, it, it's 262 yards and it's 100% polyester, but yeah, um, I hope you can see this, it's got the bumpies, but I don't mind, the, the bumpies don't bother me that much, and they're not really pronounced, it's just like a boucle, um, but yeah, so I got two of these, and then, I'll check this out, of course they always include just all these patterns as well. They've got three, four of them. There's a sock pattern, a throw, um, some a, ha a hat and scarves, and then this other a ruffle scarf. So I just wanted to let you know that they they send a lot of patterns. And then I also got this looks like a ten pack of this looks like baby yarn. And it's um, light blue, really pretty. They don't have the, um, uh, they don't have these on them though, which you know might might be something that you might not like if if you want to order a mystery bag and know exactly what it is. Um, but I don't mind. It's beautiful, baby blue color. Make a great blanket. And I saw this through the bag and I was like, what is this? So this is a discontinued Lion Brand yarn, and it's called Frothy. And if you look at this, um, this is classified as a bulky five. Let me show you like that. I cannot describe this, except to say that I believe that this was Lion Brand's take on the Noro yarn, um, the one that starts with a K. I hope there's only one. I actually have never purchased Noro yarn, um, but I believe that it's kind of like their take on that, um, and they tr were trying to make a discounted version of that. Um, I and I didn't even touch this. I just looked at it through the bag, and then I looked it up because I was like, "What is that? Why does it have the Lion Brand um, thing on it?" Um, so this is 120 yards or 110 meters. Uh, it says one ball makes a hat. Um, that sound that seems right. Um, I can't describe what this is, but it's, it's different. <laughs> it looks, it really does look like Noro yarn to me. Um, so that was in my first bag. So now let's just look at what is in my second bag. And I see a few differences. 
and as you will see soon, um, they're not real big differences, but they are different. So I got two of these Fair Isle Harrisons again, okay? That was 100% wool. And then I got two more of the same color of the Fair Isle yarn that I got before. Remember how it went with this and it looked like sand? But then instead of the sand color, I got this white color as the other one. I messed that up. <laughs> I messed that up. So, um, and so, yeah, so I got, I got, these are huge. <laughs> so I got enough to make a blanket or two <laughs> if I wanted or just whatever I want. <laughs> so that, that alone to me makes it worth it. Because these, remember, this is $29.99 for all of the stuff that I just opened. Um, and I got two, okay. <laughs> So we have another one of these, um, and it is the same color, yes, same color and dye lot. Um, so now I have two of them, so I can make something a little bit more, you know, that's a little bit more to work with. I got two more of this exact same Maypole DK, and so now I have enough to maybe make a baby blanket or, you know, something sizable if I want to. All right. And check it out, I have two more of these Knitting Fever Painted Cotton in Neapolitan, as I call it, but it's really called Seashell City because <laughs> it does have some purples. Um, again, it's, it's just, it feels really soft. It feels really soft. I would imagine this would be really easy to work with. I personally like cakes better than skeins because you can find the middle pull tab before. You guys who watch me know that I, I, I have existential crises when it comes to pull tabs. Uh, before I show you the rest, it looks like I got... I actually got the same patterns in both of them. Sometimes they're different, but in this case they are the same. So I have a copy of two of each. I got another pack of tin of the exact same um, baby. I, I'm, I'm saying it's baby yarn. I, I think it is. It looks like it is. And it looks like it's about a three weight. Okay, I wouldn't, yeah, it's a three weight. Um, and then, check this out. I got another one of these frothies. I can't, it must have rolled off of my chair. I am so sorry. I. I wanted to compare it to the other frothy. You know what? Greg's going to pick it up and, and save the day. <laughs> he thinks I have coordination. <laughs> the sporting kind. So this was the frothy from before, and this is the other frothy. This really looks like Noro yarn. Because, like, I, I, I'm just going to say, Noro yarn perplexes me. To me, it looks like a bunch of random colors thrown together that don't really make sense and it's very busy but for some reason it costs like fifty dollars a ball or more <laughs> a lot of times and i don't get it but then again i've never had uh, i've never put my hands on it before i don't know what it feels like i don't know what the big deal is but from an aesthetic point, this is not noro this is lion brand frothy which i believe is a take on that Noro yarn, or it would be, for example, if you went to yarnsub.com, that's a great place to go if you want to know what to substitute if you ever run out of yarn. Um, I bet that that Noro yarn will show up as one of the top five results for a lion brand frothy. And it, it, I just don't understand these colors together. I. I don't, and I'm not saying that it's not attractive or that it's ugly or anything like that. I just don't understand it. Um, this doesn't make sense to me. But I know a lot of people really like it. I bet, I bet some people might even like this in a giveaway. Yeah? Maybe? How about you leave a comment and let me know. So, you have seen me open two Mary Maxim mystery boxes that I purchased in the same order. So you have a good idea of what you would get if you purchased two, um, as far as like any differences and the similarities, okay? So you, again, like I said, they should overlap, but uh, there's going to be a couple of differences if there are differences, okay? Sometimes I think that once I got, got two that were the exact same and I was like, oh, <laughs> but you know, it happens, whatever. Um, but yeah, 
I personally love Mary Maxim. I think it's a really great great site. It's got a lot of really good value yarn. They always have sales going on of some sort and they have a very large amount of crafting stuff, okay? Um, anything crochet, knitting, whatever. They've got notions. They've got all sorts of stuff. So I would really highly recommend shopping there if um, you don't, if basically if you don't mind discount yarn. They have some good high-end yarn too, um, but if you if you don't, if you don't mind, you know, you know, for for the most part, what you're gonna see is like this fair isle and and some stuff that you would see on Yarnspirations, and and they have Premiere there. Um, I mean, you'd have to go and check it out. <laughs> I know they have Bernat as well, but you know, and Caron. <laughs> but if you went there, I think that you would be very. Um, surprised with how nice the items are there and there is a kind of um, cascade yarn called um, 220 superwash wool they have a very very similar um, Mary Maxim brand yarn they have Mary Maxim brand okay and, but it's really it's, it's good it's nice it's I mean it it's it is discount yarn but it's nice um, and I think it's called mellow spun um, don't quote me on that, <laughs> but they look exactly the same, and they're they're like these kinds of cakes. They're 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 made like this, okay. And basically, it's it's acrylic, and it's really soft. It's like one time I had gotten one of them, and I was comparing it just right right up next to um, the super super wash wool from Cascade, which is nice. Um, it, it's even for me, it's a little pricey though, but it's nice. Um, and it's, it's so inexpensive and it feels softer and it looks the same way, you know, and it's acrylic too. So you know that it's not, um, gonna felt or anything like that. Not super wash wool isn't gonna felt anyway, but, um, it's, it's just nice. <laughs> I know I went kind of long today. Um, I apologize for having to sit through all my talking, but you know, I just wanted to talk today. I I uh, I have not been feeling like I've been as connecting connected with you guys lately, <laughs> and it feels good to talk <laughs> because you accept me. <laughs> all right that said um thank you so much for watching my video to the end i really appreciate it if you have not seen my giveaway for june it is really nice it's the theme is blue it's got a lot of stuff in it check that out also know that i have another giveaway that i'm going to be posting very soon it's going to be a fourth of july giveaway um and it will only be open to the United States because I don't see why I should send red, white, and blue yarn to, to Canada, but yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, it'll only be open to the United States, but just so you know, watch for that. If you're not subscribed, you might want to subscribe so you can see that and get in on that too. <laughs> it'll be fun. <laughs> All right, so that said, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you soon in another video. Bye!